టైం శ్రీనివాస్ రెడ్డి లెక్చరర్ ఎన్సిటి కోర్స్ అట్ గవర్నమెంట్ జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ గోల్డ్ మార్క్ పెట్టి హైదరాబాద్ లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ వీ హ్యావ్ సాల్వ్ ఇన్ ఎర్త్ వర్క్ క్యాలకులేషన్స్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ వన్ మెథడ్ దట్ ఈస్ మిడ్ సెక్షన్ ఏరియా మెథడ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ మెయిన్ సెక్షన్ ఏరియా మెథడ్ అండ్ బెజ్మాయిడల్ ఫార్ములా ఆర్ బెజ్మాయిడల్ మెథడ్ దట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ వీ హ్యావ్ డన్ ఓన్లీ వన్ మెథడ్ లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ మనం ఇచ్చిన ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఎర్త్ వర్క్ క్వాంటిటీ క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేయమని ఇచ్చాము దాన్ని మిడ్ సెక్షన్ ఏరియా మెథడ్తో సాల్వ్ చేశాము ఈ రోజు వీ ఆర్ స్టార్టింగ్ విత్ మెయిన్ సెక్షన్ ఏరియా మెథడ్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఎజ్మాయిల్ ఫార్ములా దాంతో కూడా మనం సాల్వ్ చేయాలనుకుంటున్నాం ఓకే దిస్ మెయిన్ సెక్షన్ ఏరియా మెథడ్ ఆల్రెడీ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ అబౌట్ దిస్ మెథడ్ సో టుడే వీ ఆర్ డూయింగ్ ఏ small problem on this method so for this method quantity formula quantity is equal to mean sectional area into length total earth work quantity in that road if we want to calculate what is the total quantity total quantity is equal to mean sectional area into length of the road ఆ ఫార్ములా ఇస్తే మనం కాలిక్యులేట్ చేయొచ్చు ప్రాబ్లమ్ లో ఫార్మేషన్ విడిత ఎంత ఇచ్చాడు బి టెన్ మీటర్స్ ఇచ్చాడు సైడ్ స్లోప్స్ టూ ఈస్ టూ వన్ అంటే టూ తీసుకోవాలి లెంగ్త్ ఆఫ్ ది రోడ్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ మీటర్స్ డి వన్ వన్ మీటర్ డి టూ వన్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ మీటర్ ఓకే సో ఏ వన్ సెక్షనల్ ఏరియా ఎట్ వన్ ఎండ్ సెక్షనల్ ఏరియా ఎట్ వన్ ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ది రోడ్ దట్ ఈస్ బి డి వన్ ఫార్ములా plus sd1 square sectional area at one end that is a1 is equal to sectional area at one end that is equal to bd1 plus sd1 square the formula e formula lo you have to substitute all the values and see what happens b what is the value of b 10 meters substitute in the place of b 10 meters into d1 how much is d1 given 1 meter 10 into in the place of d1 1 plus 2 plus s d1 square s means side slope so s is equal to how much it is given 2 2 into d1 square in the place of d1 what you have to substitute d1 is equal to 1 meter so 1 square okay so after simplification you will get 12 meters square now with the help of scientific calculator students please calculate this value and you have to check it sorry today i forgot to bring the scientific calculator with the help of cell phone calculator today i am solving next class onwards i will bring scientific calculator please uh, cooperate so tan into 1 that is 10 plus 2 into 1 square 12 that is equal to 12 okay that calculation is over man then next step a2 a2 means sectional area at the other end of the road a2 is equal to sectional area at another end there is also a formula for that you know the formula bd2 plus sd2 sd2 square bd2 plus sd2 square b value and said problem no 10 minutes each other so b place lo adi pradeshayam ichadu adi into d2 d2 value ent ichadu 1.6 d2 place lo 1.6 meters ni pradeshayam ichadu plus sd2 square 
yes yes and the side slope s and the chadu no then d2 d2 how much it is given 1.6 meters is chadu d2 so in the place of d2 d2 place lo okati point r ni pradikshepinchandi very good d2 1.6 square undu kabatti here also we have taken square so finally after simplification 21.12 meter square we'll check that simplification how we'll get i'll show you <coughs> that is Ten into one point six ten into one point six plus two into one point six square that is equal to Twenty-one point one two meter square. Students understood calculation while doing the scientific calculator. Please maintain accuracy. So accurate ga, careful ga, try it and got it. What do no three quarter by two is not good. Everything you will go wrong. You don't get any marks. Okay. So. Please be careful while using the scientific calculator. Do the calculations very carefully. Calculation, chala jagat ka jayende. Ye puri migrang answer kada dhi jaste. Ne ne chala man student abzar dhi jaise ano. Fifty percent of students so scientific calculator mistake kiya sna. That is wrong because they don't have concentration while doing calculations. With the scientific calculator, that is not correct. Okay. So, ah, calculator me answer to be done. Ah, answer line wrong both me. Ah, the correct answer. Okay. So, please note this point, students. Okay. Next, mean sectional area. Next step. Mean sectional area, AM. That is equal to. For that also there is a formula. AM is equal to A1 plus A2 by 2. A1, A1 have we calculated? Yes, we have calculated. A1, A sectional area at one end. A1 is equal to 12 meter square. Substitute that 12 in the place of A1, 12 plus A2. A2 area is what? Yes, A2 sectional area at another end. That that also we have calculated. 21.12 meter square. Our A two place lo twenty one point one two percentage of inch. A two place lo twenty one point one two divided by two. Two hundred two you write. Now we will do simplification. That is equal to twelve plus. Twenty one point one two whole divided by two. How much you are getting? Sixteen point five six meter square. So mean sectional area is how much you got? Sixteen point five six meter square. So finally, final formula to get the quantity of earth mass. That is equal to quantity. Finally, quantity is equal to mean sectional area into length. So, in the formula, we have to take a look at it. So, we have to take a look at it. If you have a formula wrong, you will get zero marks. Or you will lose your marks. That is not correct, no? So, try to understand and read the formula very carefully and interestingly. Then only you will get very excellent marks. So therefore, quantity final formula. Quantity is equal to mean sectional area into length. Mean sectional area. On calculation, yes. 
We are calculating here. Mean section here, that is equal to AM. That is equal to 16.56 meters square. The mean section area, ne, this quantity, 16.56. Right, mean section area ne, 16.56 plus shaven chan. Into length of the road. Length of the road, and this is 200 meters. Into 200. That is equal to 3312 meter cube. With calculator, I will check. That is 16.56 into 200. That is equal to 3,312 meter cube. This, this is the total quantity of the earthwork we got. That is the final answer. Okay. So next. Next method. Prismoidal formula or prismoidal method. This is the third method in earthwork. Calculations. So, sectional area in this method, what we are going to calculate? Sectional area at the two ends and area at the midsection. If you find both of that, this method is finished. Sectional area at both ends of the roads and Area at the midsection, if you find out, this method finishes. Now see, prismoidal formula. So in this cross-sectional area at one end, A1 is equal to BD1 plus SD1 square. This is one formula, students. Okay. Cross-sectional area at one end is cross-sectional area at one end. That is A1 is equal to BD1 plus SD1 square. Next, cross sectional area at the other end. That is A2 area at the other end. That is equal to BD2 plus SD2 square. This is another formula. Okay. Next, depth at the midsection. Depth at the midsection. dm that is equal to d1 plus d2 by 2 that is another formula next area at the midsection am is equal to bdm plus sdm square this is another formula so finally quantity of earthwork is equal to a1 plus a2 plus 4 am into l by 6 this is the Methodology of prismoidal formula for finding quantity of earthwork in roads. <coughs> prismoidal formula problem. So far, we have discussed prismoidal formula. Methodology. How to solve problem with that prismoidal formula. Now, we are solving a small problem on prismoidal formula. Problem is earlier one only. Earlier, earlier what we have did mid section, uh, mean section area method and mid added method. Both methods we have done problems. Now, prismoidal formula to put problem just now. In this, a1 is equal to section area at one end. There is a formula BD1 plus SD1 square. Breadth is equal to 10 meters. Already same problem. Breadth is equal to 10 meters. Then D2. D, D1 is equal to 1 meter. D2 is equal to 1.6 meters. Okay. S is equal to 2 meters side slopes. So, 
So, area A1 is equal to section area at one end. That is equal to BD1 plus SD1. This is BD1, BD1 plus SD1 square. That is equal to B. In the place of B, substitute the value of 10 meters. 10. Next, D1 place low. D1 is equal to 1 meter. D1 plus 1 meter plus shape. Plus S is equal to S plus 2 meter plus shape. D1 plus low again 1 meter. 1 meter plus shape. D1 means 1. So 1 plus shape. It is square. Put square here. So, after simplification, the scientific calculator, you will get 12 meters square. Next, A2. Sectional area at another end of the road. A2 is equal to sectional area at the other end. Rondo side. Road to the rondo side sectional area calculated. Yes. That is A2. That is equal to BD2 plus SD2 square. So, in this also, Given values, you substitute in this formula and see what happens. B, B is equal to 10 meters. So, in the place of B, substitute 10 meters. Then D2 is equal to 1.6 meters. In the place of D2, substitute 1.6, 1.6 plus S. S is equal to side slope, that is equal to 2 meters, give a, that is equal to 2. So, S is equal to 2 into D2. In the place of D2, where is D2 given? Yes, here. D2 is equal to 1.6. So, in the place of D2, substitute 1.6. Because square is here, here also you put square. So, after simplification, the scientific calculator, you will get 21.12 meter square. Next, AM, midsection area, that is equal to BDM plus SDM square. So, in this formula, dm we have to calculate. So, dm is equal to d1 plus d2 by 2. So, d1, d1 value and the chadu? 1 meter. d1 plus 1 plus the dimension. Plus, d2 value and the chadu? 1.6. 1.6 plus the dimension. Divided by 2. Put to 2. After calculation with scientific calculator, you will get 1.3 meters. Now, AM, midsection area, AM is equal to, what, what is the formula? BDM plus SDM square. This formula is equal So, B is equal to, the middle, by the shape is equal to, B plus B. Then, DM, DM is equal to, and the good calculation is 1.3 meters. So, DM, in the place of DM, 1.3 meters right. Plus, S is equal to, side slope, 2 right. Into, DM, again, DM is equal to 1.3. The square is here. Put here also square. Now, after simplification with scientific calculator, you are getting a value of 16.38 meter square. So, finally, what you have to, what is asking the problem? You have to calculate the quantity of the earthwork. So, total quantity is equal to another formula for that. Prismoidal formula. For calculating quantity, another formula is given. That is equal to A1 plus A2 plus 4AM into L by 6. So, now substitute all these values and see what happens. A1, A1 and A1 is equal to section area at 1 and equal to 12. It is given. A1 is equal to put 12. Then, A2 is equal to, A2 is equal to mean section, uh, that is section area at another end. That is equal to 21.12. So, in the place of A2, substitute 21.12 plus 4, 4 into AM. A value is 16.38. 16.38 substitute in. into L. L value is equal to L is equal to length of the road. That is equal to 200. L is equal to 200 meters. These are all given in the problem. These values in the problem are equal to L. I will tell you this question. Okay, don't be confused. So, L is equal to 200 meters. That is equal to, L is equal to 200 divided by 6. So, finally, 
After calculating its random calculator, you are getting this value: three thousand two hundred eighty-eight meter cube. I will show you once its random calculator. So it's equal to twelve. Plus twenty one point one two plus four into sixteen point three eight sixteen point three eight that is equal to into two hundred divided by Six four into sixteen point three eight plus twenty one point one two Plus twelve. Let's go to into that's equal to three thousand two hundred eighty-eight meter cube. Three thousand two hundred eighty-eight meter cube. Is it visible? Okay. Next problem. So with this, we have finished this problem. Now there is another problem. Another problem. Reduce the level of ground along the <coughs> center line of a proposed road from chain age ten to twenty are given below. The formation level at the tenth chain is is one hundred seven meters, and the road is downward gradient of one in one fifty up to the chain is fourteen, and then the gradient changes to one in hundred downward. Formation width of the road is ten meters, and side slopes of banking are two is to one. Length of the chain is thirty meters. Calculate the Quantity of earthwork. <coughs> Students, till here problem is given. This is solution. Please note this. Earlier I have read the problem. Now changes are given from ten to twenty. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And RL of the ground, reduced level of the ground level. Those levels are also given here from one hundred five to one hundred three point three zero. Then reduced level of the formation width that is also given from one hundred seven to one hundred four point four zero meters. Okay. Then height of the bank that is also given in the problem. That is two meters. One point two meters, one point one six, then point zero five zero, point zero point seven eight, one point six zero, point six zero, one point two zero, point three eight, point seven zero, then one point one zero. So till here, this is problem. Then from here onwards, solution, solution starts from here. This table is the solution. I think I will draw a line here, and this is chain edge. This is chain edge. Okay. Then. Draw a table like this. 
that is chain inch 10 to 20 meters height or depth these values i have written from 2 to 1.10 see here 2 to 1.10 then mean height or depth then central area side area total area length in between chain inch then quantity vd plus sd square in dl if it is above the ground level you will get banking and below the ground level road that means cutting we are going below the ground level you will cut the soil and see that see that road will be formed so so till here we have written the chain is here first column then height of the banking second column Chain is in first column, that's why we are going to get the height of the height of the height. Boom by height of the height of the height, boom by height of the height of the height, it's low. That's 2 inches, 1.10 is the height of the height. So, mean height of the height, that we have to calculate. Mean height of the height, how do we calculate? 2 plus 1.0 by 2. That is 3.2. All of you take your calculators. Without calculator, you don't get anything. Okay. <coughs> that is, I'll show you calculations. 2 plus 1 point. This is the 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1.2. Divided by 2, that is equal to 1.6. Next, we will take these two values. 1.20 plus 1.16. Divided by 2, that is 1. 1.8, that is 1.18, you can see, okay, like that, this plus this, 1.16 plus 0 0.50 divided by 2, and okay? point okay, plus 0 0.50 divided by 2, is a 0 0.83 value also, okay, like that, this plus this divided by 2. E values. This plus this divided by two. E values. This plus this. Like that, you go on up to twentieth chain is. You will get all these values, students. Next, central area. <laughs> Breadth. How much it is given? Problem. I think it is given ten meters. Okay. So central area B. B is ten meters. Then D is equal to this one. D is equal to mean depth. This is 1.6. So 10 into 1.6. How much you are getting? 16. Padi into Padaharu. Multiply this there. Padi into 1.6. Padaharu. So that also you can check with the calculator. Students. <coughs> so, 10 into 1.6, 16, okay, next, B, in the place of B, take value 10, D value 1.6, understood, so, next, 1.18 into 10, that is 11.80, next, 0.83. If 0.83 and there is D value. Okay. B and there is 10 meters. This channel. So, 10 into 0.83. That is equal to 8.30. Like that. We don't need to tell them multiply this. E value is there. Till 20th chain, you calculate and you will get this. Then, SD square. Side slope. SD square. S is equal to how much it is given? 2 is to 1, no? In the problem? 2. So, in the place of 
S put two and D is equal to this and see what happens. So, I think we will continue in the next class. This time is going to be over.